Hi, and welcome back here to my channel. It has been a little while since I uploaded something, so I figured it was time to share about one of the applications that I am working with a customer who would also like to have a little bit of a training resource here, which is something that our company uh, takes a lot of pride in being able to support our customers um, at Automated Dynamics. Okay, so we are dealing with a DXM gateway and we have two nodes and all we want to do super simple is we want to take the inputs of those nodes and we want to turn on some outputs at this dxm gateway so we only have four outputs to work with here so this is a very small simple and on application so we're going to start from scratch here we're going to go up here to file new and i don't have anything connected right now but uh, you want to make sure you have the DXM software downloaded, that you have the latest version, and um, probably do a file save as you go along. Okay, so what I do, this is how I do it. There's a lot of ways to skin the cat, but this is how I do it. If I am doing, um, uh, if I'm doing this, this is how I would do it. Okay, add a readable. So these are going to be my inputs, you know, reading something in input. So I'm going to do node one inputs, and I'm just going to bring all my inputs into one rule to keep it simple and fast. When it says server ID, we're going to always have this rule where we keep this at one if we're dealing with a performance radio network. You can check if you have the performance radio network by looking at your um, the cover of your radio, and it should have performance on there. So keep this at one and I'm going to read four registers. So I'm just going to, I'm only dealing with one or two. So I'm just going to bring four in just to be safe. Um, my radios can do up to 12 inputs or 16 inputs. I'm sorry. Uh, register starting at, okay, this is asking me what Modbus holding register that I'm dealing with. And I can find that information in the data sheet. I know everybody likes to read the data sheet. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the part where we get to the holding register table. And we notice that there is a formula. And if you are at node one, like me, for example, right now, times 16 plus one, then that means that my holding register is going to start at 17 for input one. Okay, if I'm on input two of node one, then that puts me at holding register 18. So I'm going to type in here 17, and now I'm going to copy that holding register onto my DXM local register. Uh, and this is where I can pick a value here. Um, and I'm going to keep it at the same uh, numbering convention that is used. It just, it's the easiest for me to remember. So I'm going to keep it at 17. And the next thing I like to do is leave all of that alone and go to my local registers, go back here to local registers and use, and I'm going to um, name all of those registers. So I'm going to start at 17 and at 20, give this a name. So node one input space, checkbox increment starting at one, click modify registers, and I've got all of those labeled now so I don't get lost and crazy. Um, now I'm going to add another read rule for node two. These are going to be my inputs and all I'm going to change here is my Modbus location and my local register location. So, um, I'm going to, if you do the math, should be 33 for input one and I'm going to leave it into, copy it into local register 33. So don't change anything here. Um, and by the way, once we name our local registers they do come up here so we know we did it right go back to local registers and now i'm going to modify multiple do the same thing that i just finished doing and give this guy some information all right so we've got our node inputs and um, now we need our output so go back to register mapping click on rtu write so this is going to be where we write our DXM outputs. And we really only have four outputs to deal with. So I'm going to say, uh, and this is, an, this, is, this is our arbitrary value here for local register. So I'm going to just start at one. 
So I'm going to write four local registers starting at one through four. Remember to keep the server ID one. And I'm going to write them to, I'm sorry, server ID. This one is going to be fun. Hold on. Let me try to explain this. The DXM outputs are located on a different board, um, which puts us at an address of 203. How do I know this number? Well, it's in the manual if you read long enough, but a shortcut would be to go to your tools, register view, go to register source, and if you click on DXM outputs, it'll pop up your address. So we're going to look at address 203 there. So that's a big gotcha if you don't know how to do that or you, don't, you didn't know that. That might be a problem. Okay, so uh, if you go back to register uh, mapping and RTU write, you should be good. Now we can label these. So we're going to start at 1 through 4, and we're going to label these DXM output space increment starting at 1, modify. So these are now labeled. Perfect. And we are now ready to do some action rules. So let's start with an th a threshold rule. Okay, so this threshold rule is going to give me some logic. So what we're going to do here is we're going to give this rule a name. We're going to say uh, node 1 input 1 to DXM output 1. So that kind of tells us what we're doing. So we're just going to tell it when local register... Uh, input one is uh, 17, right? And this is nice. It auto populates here. When that is equal to one checkbox, when this is true, I want, oops, I want to turn on one, which is DXM output one to value of one. And then when this is uh, not equal to one, then set it to zero. Okay. So that's what we want for node one input one. We're going to make a new rule now. We want, we want to do node two input one, I'm sorry, node to input two to DXM output four. Okay. I know this is getting a little, this is what, this is what is wired up. So we're just going to make it match. So now we're going to say, um, we're on, it should be 34. Yep. Node two input two equals when that is equal to one, when that turns on, check that box. I'm going to turn on output four to on. And then um, when it is not on, oops, set it to zero. And that's it. That's what we want the logic to do. So that should take care of all your register mapping and your action rules. There's a lot more that you can do here. You can do AND gates, control logic, some math logic, um, and uh, yeah, so pretty cool. Lots of uh, features here built into the DXM gateway radios. If you have any additional questions or would like to tell me, great job, Paula, keep doing these, you can comment down below or contact me directly or follow me on LinkedIn. I hope you have a blessed day and thanks for coming by.